Hi, this is Christopher Jones with Authentic Leader. I bring out the best in new leaders. So I don't know if you can see behind me, I saw this spot and just could not resist it. Um, there's some beautiful wildflowers just uh, blooming um, right here in the, uh, in the field and I hope that picks up here on this video. Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit more about biases that can sometimes uh, filter their way in when you're assessing someone's ability to perform a task. So simply be aware of your bias when you are assessing an employee's ability or skill or even their desire to perform a task. Uh, whether you want to admit it or not, uh, you really have biases simply because you are human. So you really have to dig beyond your own personal biases so that you can objectively assess someone's ability to do a task. So before jumping to conclusions and doing a quick assessment, really take time to check yourself and really see where your heart is. So you might actually sit down with an employee and have a conversation with them to really assess what their skill level is that maybe you're not aware of or even what their desire is to do the task. Many times in those conversations you become surprised and you might learn something you did not know before. Consider the voice you're using also when you're having that discussion with your employee. Make sure that your voice really is genuine in trying to discover what skills, abilities, and even desire to do the work that you might not be aware of. And of course, during this discussion, make sure that you're asking open-ended questions rather than closed questions. Make sure they're open-ended so you're having a real conversation to discover what their uh, really motivation and their skills are. So also make sure that you are assessing a specific task when you are making an assessment for an employee's ability to do uh, some work. So for example, you might ask yourself, are you assessing an employee's skill and will to uh, work with a spreadsheet? Uh, or are you asking, uh, are they able to create a sales report? Sometimes that sales report might be different than what you're envisioning. Or you might be assessing an employee's ability to write well or to write very effectively. Or is it really you need to assess their ability to persuade a prospect to make a, a purchase? So tomorrow we're gonna get a little more deep. We're actually gonna get into plotting employees and uh, depending on where they're plotted, how you actually work with those employees. So make sure you come back for the next video. And in the meantime, bring out the best in your leadership.